Now, let's work on the lesson, count up with numbers. They would like us to choose the best answer. It says, counting up from eight, which number comes next? Well, sometimes if we're not sure what comes right after eight, it helps us to say some numbers that we know come before eight. So maybe we start with one to begin. We can write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which number comes next? Nine. That made it a little bit easier, huh? Because we're used to counting in order, so it might help to start from a lower number. So we know the next number is nine. Great. Counting up from nine, which number comes next? Well, now instead of starting from one, because sometimes that takes a long time, we can start from a number we know is smaller than nine. We could start with seven. So we could write seven, eight, nine, what comes next? Yeah, 10. So we know that 10 comes after nine. All right, counting up from seven, which number comes next? So again, we can choose a small number and count up from that. So I know that five is smaller than seven, so I am going to write five, six, seven, what comes next? Yes, eight. Eight is our next number. Now, counting up from six, which number comes next? So it might help us just to start with six. Let's see, six, do you remember? Yeah, seven, seven comes next. So there's plenty of ways to do this. Let's choose seven. All right, counting up from two, which number comes next? And something else we can do, if we start to feel confused, we could draw this many objects. So I'm going to draw two circles. Now when they say which number comes next, well, let me draw one more and then count them. So now I have one, two, three. So three comes right after two. So I know that is the correct answer. All right. Counting up from nine, which number comes next? Do you remember that one? Now let's try saying them out loud instead of writing them down. So we could start with a smaller number or we could even start with one if you're not sure. Let's start with one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, so ten came right after nine. Again, we don't always have to start with one, but if we're starting to feel confused, we can start with one. Counting up from four, which number comes next? Let's see. Let's start with a number we know is smaller. I know two is smaller than four. So two, three, four. All right, two, three, four, five. So I know that five, it comes right after four. All right, let's choose five. Ooh, now counting up from 10, which number comes next? Okay, let's try that. So we can start with a smaller number. So I will start with eight. Eight, nine, 10, 11, good. So eight, nine, 10, 11. I know that 11 comes right after 10. Good, there's 11. Now counting up from seven, which number comes next? So now try and think what number is right after seven? Seven, yes, eight, eight comes next. 
great work. Now counting up from two, which number comes next? We could start with one. One, two, three. Three is our next number. Great work, my friends. You did wonderful.